I'm afraid I'm, and I'm alive. I think I'm live. Should be live. <laughs> well, welcome to the Rule of Saturday Night live stream. Hopefully things are working. Definitely at the new spot. Ooh, should have cleaned the table a little better. <laughs> at the new spot, things are looking a little different. Maybe not as much a light as it previously uh, was, and not maybe not a lot of space either. But let's see. Let's see. We're gonna do the best that we can. Um, and of course, then uh, with the lack of space, I have a little trouble sometimes checking the the comments. So I'll do my best to check the chat here and there. And also, the light is not the best. So I, I might I might consider putting this light on, but I'm not sure if it's even better or worse. So let's just keep it off for now. And let's see who showed up. We have Eli. Eli is in the house. What's up? Excited for the U-boat. Yes, I'm pretty excited about this too. So I don't know if you watched my whole video. I unboxed this this morning. Uh, yeah, just specifically to build it uh, today live, uh, to do this live stream with you guys. Um, and very excited for this as well. I'm a big fan of just World War II German U-boats in general. Uh, now considering the movie does boot, something I kind of want to have. Again, might be a little... Not the smartest purchase, not the best purchase, um, but you know my rationality was overweighted by how much I really, <laughs> how much I really like this uh, this U-boat stuff. Yeah, it's, I think it's quite a unique kit. But uh, but yeah, if we consider the price, the price is not the best here. You know, we're talking about uh, seven hundred parts built, and that's in dollars it's six fifty, in euros it's six hundred. Thankfully, I had some discounts. I had some uh, coupon codes I was I was able to use on Brickism once and had some some brick coins saved up. All right, check out who else is in the house. We have Dolphin Boy. What's going on? Real E. What's up, Real E? Hookie made it good because I mean I know some people you said might not make it, and I get it. You guys have you know if you have something to do, you gotta live your life and do what you gotta do. I'm gonna yeah. This is probably gonna take me a minute to build. So this is probably most likely gonna be two part stream. But I am going to try to make some kind of view video or overview, hopefully not too long of final build. So if you have to go and you want to wait for like another week or two before I get this overview done or review video done, but I'll make one. So don't worry, you'll get to see it at some point on my channel. Coco's in the house. What's going on? How are we doing? I'm doing I'm doing all right. I'm doing good. Just a little busy uh, life work. But then, yeah, uh, I, I, am, I was really looking forward to getting this one built. And this one arrived this week. Um, got got to to get this one unboxed. So yeah, I'm, but I'm doing good. Can't complain. Saturday night, can't complain. <laughs> um, Ella, yeah, everyone's saying hi. Let's see what Coco has to say. Hey, I'm just here. Quickly say hi because plans have changed. I cannot stay. Sorry, and hope you will be able to forgive. Forgive one day, brother. Yeah, no worries, Coco. Listen, man, you guys, if you guys have to go do what you got to do, uh, please, you know, do that. I, I will be, like I said, making a video on this in more detail. And right now, just again, just trying to get this together. Wherever can stay, it's cool. If you can, I appreciate that. If not, then you, you got to do what you got to do. People got a life to live as well. It's weekend. Spend time with your family and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I, without further ado, I'm going to hop into unboxing so I don't spent too much time just talking about it actually i'm gonna start building this so let's go ahead and take a plastic off this brand new kit um so let's see the size actually so it's uh i don't know why it says 62. my assumption was it was like a limited release i would think it's less than 62 but i mean the box is 62 so i don't know maybe there was a 62 of those made which seems a little a, a little too much so as far as I understood, it was about a 20 kit release. Maybe some store had it. Uh, I know maybe Brokizimo got a few of them, but 62 seems a lot uh, for the limited release. And they also seem, at least how, how I understood, something that maybe not is, um, I won't say super popular, but not something that uh, Brokimania would normally do. Uh, it is a very unique kit. In itself, uh, because I think mostly the focus in Brickmania is that, or I mean, those custom, custom, custom companies, the focus mostly on like the vehicles, and that's what I like as well. I like the vehicle builds, 
this one is a little actually messed up. So something did happen with this box. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, not not super bad. Um, a little slight damage on the box, unfortunately. But you know, it is what it is. Sometimes things get a little banged up in the shipping. And not much you can do. But we'll go ahead and cut the sleeve off, not the, uh, the the tab, whatever it's called. I'm gonna cut that. All right, here we go. And let's get the sleeve off this thing. Oh man, that's always pain in my butt. But let's see, let's give it a try. Maybe this time around is not gonna be too difficult, which I doubt. So bear with me on this one. Yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be pain ass as per usual. Pain ass per usual. Give a nice little shake, maybe I'll maybe I'll move around a little more. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I should have done it ahead of time. But I'm just gonna take it off like this. Got no time for this nonsense. Hey right, boys. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, this I mean recommend you gotta come up with some other ways of doing the sleeves because I'm not I'm not a big fan of how this is all Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those sleeves. I mean if if you guys know a better way to do this, let me know because I don't. How to take those off because it's really huge pin <laughs> in the butt for me all right so here we go we got the sleeve off i did the fast track i actually just took this off like took the sleeve part off and these glued together which i know it's a little messed up because it uh, messes up the glue a little bit uh, but you know it is what it is i don't have the whole day to be taking this off and maybe i'll do this so i have a little uh, u-boat already built from kobe so we're gonna do this got our u-boats out um so yeah originally i thought i'm gonna get this u-boat and it's gonna be enough i'll get my u-boat fixed but no i just couldn't i <laughs> couldn't resist so yeah the brick mania coning tower is happening let's catch up with chat really quickly spend way too much time on this sleeve uh, people saying hi uh spooky two bricks is in the house i'm doing good thank you Murray gained parts for Winter Mario 2 at the moment. You're excited for those fix. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the fix inside look amazing. Mm, I definitely picked up a few from uh, TMC. I got a few from Brick Soldiers, just the random ones. So just kind of build up a little bit of this U-Boat um, crew. Nothing specific. I wish I, I had, um, I mean, the, the Brick Soldier had like, actually a good lineup of the Crix Marines, uh, but I missed out on all gray ones. So if there was more like a gray crew, I'll, I would like it more because that's how it is in the movie, in Dust Boot. Uh, but let's see, maybe maybe those come back on, on Brick Soldiers again. Uh, people say, hi, cool. Time is running fast. Spooky. One just can't help it. <laughs> that's true. Uh, no kidding, I've been so busy. Sorry to have missed the past few streams. Yeah, no worries, Spooky Two Bricks. I, you know, uh, I haven't actually done a uh, live stream in about a week or two. I mean, I, actually, I'm lying. I did the last, uh, last was it last week or two weeks ago when I did uh, just kind of like window shopping. I checked out the Brickazimo and um, Brickmania websites and that kind of stuff for the, for the custom Lego. So I've done that, but I haven't done the live stream build in a while. So I'm actually happy I am back into. The live stream building again is different location, not as as comfortable as it used to be, but it is what it is. It's my new reality. I am back at my house, uh, not as much space, 
So let's see if we can somehow make it work. And I can tell this kid is quite big uh, because it's pretty much packed. The box is packed uh, to the top with parts. Um, you can see here. So that's definitely a bunch of stuff here. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm, not, I'm already getting a little overwhelmed, but let's see, maybe we can handle it. We're trying to handle it. We've done, we've done bigger builds than this. So let's get the box out of the way. So we have as much space as we can get. But let's get to the fun stuff. Let's just have a look really quickly at... That's what I like to do in the beginning. Let's have a look at the minifix and all the printed print elements. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, somebody pre-ordered Kong uh, King Cloud Mario 2. Yes, well, that one is... <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty cool kit that I think uh, came out with well, Was it today, I think, when it got released? And Brickman, you had it on Friday. That's a really cool um, World War II kit, for sure. Um, so I was considering that. It's, it has a very nice nice little print camo uh, job done to it. And it's... Because um, a lot of times Brickmania doesn't release uh, World War II related stuff exact to the unit or to the actual uh, tank or, the, or this little tank destroyer. Mario 2. But in this case, it's a specific tank. Tank destroyer. That was actually made. Which is pretty cool. And I think that's what the ally was saying too. He was, he's looking to do the martyr, but I think he's doing the snow winter camo. Mm, and that one is just, uh, yeah, that's just a different type of camo uh, for the Kochling Klau. And our big United Bricks will want to restock soon. Nice. I want to buy Mario 2, but I'm going to get something else. Yeah, the Mario is pretty cool. I'm still thinking about it. Um, it's kind of on the expensive side considering the size of the kit, but you know, everything's expensive nowadays <laughs> from Brickmania. I'm still thinking about it. I might consider getting, let's see. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop into this. So this is um, like multi, multi surface print. Uh, so we have our uh, swordfish. And we know Brickmania doesn't do swastika, so we're getting kind of dumb, dumbed down version of, uh, of a flag. I mean, and then the Kobe did the same thing. They, yeah, no, no swastikas, and it makes sense, I guess. In some countries, it's 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 illegal, or it's it's a you know you might have a problem, so they're kind of avoiding that. I mean, of course, I personally wish it was as as accurate as possible to the to the source. Um, so I guess that's the other side of the swordfish. Let's go ahead and put the minifix together. I see how those gonna look like. Lots of those. Um, um, what are those? That's tubes. Lots of the tube elements. So let's see what that's gonna be used for. Put those back for now. I don't think I'm gonna need them. Let's go ahead and put the mini fix together and see what that comes out. Um, some printed some printed elements right here. So we have the U96. So I have those like life life preserves, whatever they're called. Let's go ahead and put the mini fix together really quick. So we got I think the main guy. I got the captain. And all in all, I think uh, the idea that they were kind of going for the Das Boot, um, the German German movie from, from the 80s. Is it 80s? I think, yeah, it was like late 80s. Um, I watched it, it's cool. Um, so I think that that's, that's what the game, basically the, the inspiration for the minifix. So that's the main guy, that's the captain right here. Let's go ahead and get the crewman built as well. We got this custom 3D printed pom-pom hat. 
But it's very similar to something I think um, that Brick Arms does. So there's like a little sailor's or Lego. I think Lego does it. There's like a little Lego sailor's hat. It's very similar to that. Um, of course, this is 3D printed with a little thing. I mean, if you can far far, uh, far out, you can't even tell the difference if it's like that Lego piece or it's uh, this custom. And I think this guy also gets a cape. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Well, fabric feels exactly like a Lego fabric would be. I'm hoping I'm putting this correctly. Let's go ahead and... Yeah. I hope I, I'm doing it the right way. I probably would have to take one of the hands off, which I'm not a huge fan of doing so because like once you take the hands off from the torso, so you, you kind of put yourself at risk of doing a little cracking or do putting like little cracks in the, in the torso. But I guess that's the only way you can get really that cape on this minifig. So let's go ahead and try and do that. So here we go. We have that cape. Or... I don't know, I think I got it upside down. What did I know? I don't know. I have <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, no, I put it definitely I put it upside down. So let's go ahead and try it again. Oh boy. I think it goes like this. Oh no, I got it right the first time. I don't know. I'm tripping. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Here's the other guy. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. All right, so here with the here are the dudes. Here's the crew, and let's get into the building. Let's catch up with the comments really quick. United Bricks is probably my favorite third-party Lego company. Yeah, United Bricks is pretty good, especially if you're based in uh, in UK. I'm sure it's very convenient for you to get this kind of stuff. Uh, here in the U, it's, it's not bad either uh, through the reseller. So Brookismo usually carries a bunch of their stuff. And you can't really complain about United Bricks prices. I keep always saying United Bricks is just top, top dog with the prices. They somehow end up Keep keeping the prices as low as possible, which I give them props. And their print job is not too bad, yeah. So I agree with you. Definitely not sponsored, but here we go. <laughs> we can talk all the good stuff about United Bricks, no problem here. Uh, Mario 2 is really nice, but I just I just build my own. Yeah, it's cheaper. Uh, you build is fun. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. I, I I haven't started yet. I keep talking about it. I haven't started just yet. One thing that kind of was bothering me with this uh, with this fig that was taking too much time. Um, like you can see here that his his little thing, whatever this rope thing, is folded. So I'm not sure if I need to fold this somehow as well. And then how do I fold this or should I even not touch it? Anyways, yeah, that's one question I guess I have. It does not look exactly like it's in a box, but I think maybe something I need to do. I might do it separately. Yeah, but uh, you both for sure, I think build wise hopefully it's not gonna be too difficult but display wise i think it's gonna look very nice sick yeah thank you <laughs> can you complete World one german stormtrooper to have a new one um i'll compare um 
I was considering gaining one, but I think Hookie picked up the last Stormtrooper, so unfortunately I missed out. So if you want to, if you want to blame somebody, you can blame Hookie for that. <laughs> I'm just missing. I'm just missing Hookie. It's not your fault. Um, I might do it. I might pick up the Stormtrooper at some point. Uh, I, I I think it's sold out right now, Brachismo. So if you come back in stock, I was actually considering it, but 50 euros for one minifig is kind of a lot. I know it has a lot of custom print, uh, custom printed stuff, uh, like 3D printed elements. But for me, I already have a uh, Stormtrooper. I like that one from back from the Lando days when there were things like uh, when they were texture printed. And I really don't have a need to get another one. Right. So, I mean, it does look cool. I like the hell. Uh, I like the gas mask. Um, but uh, you know, and the helmet. But but let's see. I don't know if I want to cough up 50, 50 euros just to have that one fig. Uh, Ishan uh, minifigure might be my favorite minifigure of all times. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Let's see about that martyr uh, from Brickmania. Uh, Hookie bricks. We collect Brickmania. Yeah, I mean, if you don't know Hookie, yeah, he has his own channel. Go, go subscribe to Hookie. He definitely collects Brickmania. <laughs> he has plenty of it. Uh, he does uh, YouTube videos as well. So go check him out. I'm going to buy instruction from German Custom Brick. Mm, okay, I've heard of the company. I never bought anything from them. So you let me know how that goes. Mm, I also heard of Omaha Bricks. Never bought anything from them. So yeah, there's a bunch of instruction, uh, good instruction companies you can pick up. Um, or, or even Brickmania, the jet instructions are not too bad. Um, can you compare old uh, new one? Yep. Uh, if 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 I buy the new one, I'll, I'll compare it. Otherwise, I'm not. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, maybe someone else might do it. <laughs> I don't know. Would professional Brickmania collector and next person on uh, brick build tanks. Yes, uh, Huki not just gives you a Brickmania overview, he gives you a history, history lesson also in there. So uh, it's quite uh, qu quite um, entertaining uh, or knowledgeable videos that you'll get there. So you get full package with Huki videos, uh, kind of you, but I'm actually expert on Asian recipes. Oh boy, <laughs> getting back to the red, oh my God. Is, is, uh, is butt chops here or something? Uh, yeah, we have some major in my hands or more of random effects. While well, I can be for they are more difficult to find. I have an eBay, but I'm not selling any of the mini fix at the moment, not anything from like Lando uh, days. So, yeah, not 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 something I'm gonna. I'm I'm selling on the eBay. I have eBay. I can, I, mm, you can probably Google it. I'm not Google, but you can probably put some stuff on eBay and I'm gonna come up. I'm the guy who's selling uh, Sherpa. So if you see e on eBay, uh, uh, United States Forest Serviceman Sherpa, that's the one. That's my account. So I'm selling Sherpa on the eBay at the moment, and I think it might be like one or one or two more kids. I'm not sure. I think I'm, I might be selling also also Arado. Uh, uh, jokes to rats. <laughs> yeah, still on that. Uh, so, ah, you talk about Hookie? Okay, yeah. Maybe next year at some point I'll make some of this stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Hookie. I know Hookie has a Brickling store. So if you are in Germany, uh, you can buy some Lego from him. I don't think uh, Figures Land will really become anytime soon, even though he has a lot of became with make respect. That's true. So, yeah. So if you missed out on all the Brickmania figs, they do come back. Although, again, Lando is not there anymore. And, um, He's not designing for them anymore. At least then I know they restock a bunch of stuff. And they do restock some more. Not everything. I know they're not restocking some, like, but they have restocked. Um, they, they made some new stuff. Like, if, if they make a new updated minifig, then the old stuff is basically is kind of retired. So I know the D-Day minifigs, uh, some, um, like, Filthy 13. Like, the, I have the older one, but the new, uh, new re-released ones, um, I don't have and the same thing with storm stormtrooper for example that kind of stuff yeah some of them retired and some get restocked barbaros german yes those are nice i agree i hope to do so yeah barbaros would be very good i'm just trying to catch up I can blame me <laughs> sure. 
Man, where's butt shop here? We back on the rat topic. Ah, oh, he's the captain. Okay, cool. Uh, do you guys uh, know if Brickism will get the new BKM US Forks Fork Skin Marine? Oh, okay. The standalone with 360 legs. Probably will. They probably will. They carry everything that uh, Brickmania releases. I'll say, I'll say, you'll, you'll, you'll get there. I kind of want to make a Navy Seal Humvee with working suspension. I don't think the Brickmania one has a proper suspension. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, Humvee with suspension. I don't know if there's enough space in the Humvee to make a suspension, but you can try. I have this GLTV built. There's, um, you know, um, this uh, kind of the, what are they called? MRAP, MRAP type of vehicles. And that was that was big enough to have a suspension and it was very off, off road capable. I'm not sure Combi is that off road capable. I mean, it is, but it's it's maybe not as a, as the new stuff. And again, if there's a space in it, go for it. Uh, that would be incredibly challenging. Yeah, plus BKM Combis are made to play. They're really having work suspension. Such a model might make, make a recap. Yeah, I, I agree with Spooky here. So I hope I got the Russian supper while I could. Yeah, exactly. The Russian supper. I don't think I personally don't think it's gonna come back, but you never know. Troopers is already in the mail. Nice. Yeah. So if you want to check out the, again, I don't know when Hook is gonna do it, but I hope he will do some unboxing, uh, which he normally does, or a whole, whole pick. He's gonna show his whole pickups. Then go check out Hookies, and then he's probably gonna open up, open up a shrimp trooper for you guys. So you can see how that one looks like, how the new one looks like. All right, let's go ahead and start with the building. Otherwise, it's going to be forever. It's, it's already half an hour into it. I haven't even opened one bag. So let's get into it. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I showed some of the printed parts. I'm, I didn't show all of them, um, but most of them I did show. I'm going to put them away for now. I think we're starting with a base. So I'm trying to hop into the base. Um, yeah, not a lot of printing mm, happening here. It's a nice little compass. So check that out. So put the prints aside. Let's go ahead and uh, get the, with the diorama base going. I'm actually curious if Brickmania will make something like this again. I kind of doubt it because, first off, it's very expensive. Um, at least I think it's more expensive than the regular like, tank build that they would make. Uh, so maybe that's where there's not a lot of interest in, uh, from people. And on top of that, it's also a diorama, more like more or less diorama build. Uh, because it's like, it's like part of the <laughs> part of the vehicle, part of the submarine not, not the full one so i think this is kind of like one off type of thing but let's see let's see if brickmania will make uh, something similar again in the future i most likely will not pick it up anymore this is like one off thing for me as well it was very expensive it was uh, a hard hard pill to swallow considering how much it is per piece very expensive but I just couldn't miss miss out on um on the U-boat. Just couldn't do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's already not enough space. <laughs> Let's see. If the struggle is gonna be real now here with all this. Turn this light on so I can see better. So 
box or whatever. It's retired the Russian supper in the begin block. Yeah, I wonder if you uh, if you fold with a martyr too, like you did. Like you did with the U build. <laughs> I can fold. Yeah, on Tiger one. Uh, you talking about? Yeah. I, again, I'm trying to basically cut back a little bit on you know buying kits and spending. So I mean, this is like a big purchase that I'm doing now. So I'm trying to cut back, save a little money, um, and that's what kind of like yeah another bigger reason why i am considering not to pick up the martyr although it's i think it's pretty cool um i think i told ally that yeah i'm not picking that one up but you know i say one thing and it was kind of the same thing with the u-boat i was like i'm probably not gonna pick it up it's very expensive and i think i mentioned in my live stream a few times but i folded you're right <laughs> not so much of men on my word i guess right and then uh, next thing you know yeah I, I this is uh this is now in my hole <laughs> So let's see. Yeah, same thing. Uh, you know, trying to avoid picking up martyr. Mm, probably not gonna pick it up. Uh, skip on that one. Although it is really cool. I do like camo uh, prints on it. I like that this actual vehicle that ex existed during World War II. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, the fact that it's another three hundred euros I have to spend. Mm, probably is gonna be a skip for me. But let's see. <laughs> Ella, you're right. I don't make I don't want to make any more promises. Uh yeah, yeah. Some stuff is um and I don't even know what's the logic, like why some stuff is being re-released, three stocks, some of them is not, is fully retired. I don't know how they was that was behind BKMs. Um I Tripping. Here we go. Uh, got to go. Uh, sup to Spooky. I'll be back for the next <laughs> live. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, thanks for coming by and hanging out with me at least for a little bit. Yeah, like Brick, uh, Brick Soldier stuff is usually very nice. Something to look forward to, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm thinking about making not water for, from uh, Brick Soldier, just like a small, small stuff again. Accessory wise, it's like they have so much um but you know sometimes you have to be kind of quick um as uh some things that sell out pretty quickly then um, but yeah definitely lots of options and and it depends depends what you get some things are not even that expensive so um, so if you play your cards right you actually might get a decent deals here on brick soldiers i like the company and i like the uh, the vary of accessories and options and and shipping is not too bad i think it's reasonably reasonably priced as well so yeah for sure i recommend brick soldiers i shop there myself all the time <laughs> i mean not all the time but i do shop there uh who deserves this up yeah for sure okay Hookie's the homie. Go subscribe to him if you haven't. Let's get Hookie to like 500 so he can uh, get the community community tab or something. Definitely, definitely deserves more subs for sure. Spooky, you kind. 
uh, if I weren't uh, have to uh, defend against your army of BKM tanks. <laughs> Uh, the main build I'm trying to work on at the moment is uh, is the KFZ 251. It's one of my favorite vehicles. Yeah, 251 uh, is pretty cool. SDKFZ. The, the half track is is pretty awesome. I was the most while they use German uh, half track, uh, the first ever successful APC. True, except it didn't have any roof on top. So if something drops from from the from the sky, then you kind of done. <laughs> but yes, I agree with you. It's um, it's definitely a very capable vehicle. Very popular by uh, Germans. Very widely used. Uh, and this is one one thing I still don't have. I don't have a proper half track, uh, which is something maybe in the future I'll try to get. I guess one of the, the regrets I have uh, from not picking up um, half track from, I guess, a couple years ago is this uh, 251B. Uh, it was a great half track. It looks very super nice. Uh, and I was considering picking this up. I thought it was kind of expensive at the time, um, but now I do regret because uh, the only thing I can do right now is either build from digital instructions, which is not too bad either. Uh, Brickmania does have a digital instruction uh, 251 is the KFZ, or I could probably just get their classic series, which I'm not, to be honest, I'm not a, like a super huge fan of, but. Um, you know, if there's no other options, so maybe I'll, I'll go. I'll go with that. And the price is good. The price, I mean, things like a hundred something euros, and you gonna you know, you're getting yourself a half track at a Lego. So something maybe I'll consider. But let's see. I'm not in the rush. Maybe Brickmania will do another half track, like um, non classic series half track with uh, some kind of cool details. Uh, I live in the states, and shipping was uh, was not bad. Yeah, exactly. Got Pan's body, cool. So Ella, yeah, looking forward for that on Instagram when you're gonna post it. Uh, I was surprised and pleased with Brickism when I'm buying from the states. Fast shipping, good packaging. There's something else they have that I want if for sure order from them again. Yeah, I, I recommend Brickism. In generally speaking, overall, they are not bad. Like all the stuff, considering how many orders I put in with them, I never really have like any big issues. All the stuff that I ordered did arrive, so can't really complain there. But sometimes the communication, <laughs> uh, communication could have been a little better, and maybe some processing speeds. Uh, I, I, again, I don't know if it's just they're, they're busy or they're not doing it full time or whatever. Uh, sometimes you know you, you have to wait on your stuff. Uh, but you know, I, but it, that's it's not always the case either. Like it, it's it's weird. It's random. Sometimes it's quick. Sometimes it's not. But, but overall. Brickism, I'm really happy about them because, yeah, they are definitely my to-go for Brickmania stuff as a reseller. Otherwise, I wouldn't be buying Brickmania. Uh, buying from the States with all the tariffs, uh, shipping, like shipping is over $100 if I buy directly from the United States. And I'm not spending $100 on shipping. I'm sorry, no, no, no not 100 it's, it's 50 uh, Brick Veteran is $100. Uh, Brick, Brickmania is 60 or 50 and that's a lot. That's still a lot. I mean, sixty dollars on just shipping. No, like imagine you're getting a kit that's like fifty bucks and you're paying shipping fifty. That's that's insane. Yeah, so that's not happening for me. I think I built this wrong. Yeah, I did build this wrong. So yeah, I'm really thankful for Brookizimo. And their stuff also, when you buy from them, like when I buy from them, like it's already includes, the price is pretty much the same as you have on Brickmania, but this already includes uh, VAT and all that kind of stuff. Like if I have to buy it from Brickmania, I have to pay VAT separately. So it's like, it's not 20% on top, actually 22 now here in Estonia. And now and then from Brookism, I just buy it. It's usually the same price, almost the same price as Brickmania. And taxes included, everything is included. So it's hassle free for me. So yeah, as much as sometimes I talk shit about our boy Frank, I do I do appreciate him him uh, you know being around. Okay, I'm missing some some tiles. Let's see if I can find those. 
uh, spooky. You gotta uh, pick your fights. You gotta pick your, uh, your fights. I have to assume. It's fine. I have my arm here. It's brown, including anti tank Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, you, your, your World War II army, your World War II tank army has, stands no chance against F 14. Sorry, Hokey, just, just, just gotta be honest. That's that's what it is. We're gonna open this back as well. Hmm. You know, Spooky has all the army, army of his F-14s waiting to strike. And plus, he probably has Tom Cruise. You know, and you got Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt in your team. Oh man, you're in trouble. You don't want to mess with Tom Cruise, man. He can run fast. He can jump. You can take out F-22 in his F-14. Like, man, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta really think about it, Hookie. All right, one more. Slowly pushing the U-boat off the table. <laughs> and that's because it's Kobe. I have nothing against Kobe. It's just because um, I don't have a space here. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're working on the stand, as you probably... I'm trying to work on the stand with, with the space that I got. Each warhead includes one already active. <laughs> oh, boy. Yalga, Yalga Bricks. Hello, hello. I'm doing good building a U boat. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully, get that one done. I mean, not this live build, but next week. So I can have that on display. Uh, yeah, so I think it's pretty cool, cool stuff. Uh, so the, the, said that the premiere of Dust Boot in France, visitors to cinema in France applauded when the film began with a message saying that 27,000 German submarine soldiers died uh, in the war. Uh, when the film ended, the same people gave the film standing ovation. This movie has a real impact on people over the world. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's it felt like it was really realistic, right? With um, With the play that they had, uh, and uh, I think you're talking about the, the dust boot, the, the original dust boot that came out way back. Uh, so yeah, definitely a very kind of heavy movie, but you, like the life on those, like those boats, the U-boats, and on, under the sea, which was pretty brutal. Uh, I mean, just in the conditions that they had to live in. Uh, but that's also the, the fascinating part to me, like how advanced back then technology i mean you go from world war one I, I mean the story we're developing that stuff where it was like you you have horses and you know whatever kind of stuff i mean they have horses they use horses in, in, in world war ii as well uh but then you go into something like a warfare which you're underwater uh and then i think that's what they did they, they called them wolf packs they were trying to uh, they would go underwater and hunt down various kind of vessels of course not always like military just the cargoes as well just so they can um, kind of blockade or hold uh, the shipments of goods, fuel, that kind of stuff. Um, but they were very, very successful in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, the job was tough. I mean, but yeah, and one of the big reasons why I love them is because, boy, yeah, it's a sad, sad movie. Lots, uh, it's, it's probably not a lot of them made it. Uh, it's one of probably, I think one of the most dangerous jobs uh, where I read somewhere or I heard somewhere that one of those high the most high uh, fortunate death right from in, in, in the german army was that, that there was the submarine crews because when something happens uh pretty much all of them yeah pass like no, no one survives so it was very high uh, high risk dangerous uh for sure job and a lot of them did did pass a lot of kriegsmarines the submarine uh boat crews but yeah they didn't 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 make it unfortunately yeah uh, but to me, once again, just the fact how how advanced technologically the stuff is is fascinating. So that's why I was like one of the big reasons I really want to uh, pick this. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't see everything. It's like blends in. What is this? Okay, this, uh, okay. So this is... this 
sense. That makes sense. Okay, so there's a longer one than this, is there? Yeah, there is. All these brown pieces throw me off. <laughs> you know, I know I was doing something wrong. All right, four of those guys. Oh, shoot. I, yeah, I don't have space so, anymore at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm on Kriegs Marine right now. I'm out of space inside the U-boat. Instead of U-boat, there's just no space on on the table. Oh man, I don't have. Uh... Oh shoot! I have brick separator. No brick separator. What I'm gonna do? Oh, I got my knife. I got my little knife. Here we go. Yeah, so it's pretty fascinating to me. But the, the technology itself, um, you know, having to, you know, being so, so deep on the water, literally like a tin can. Well, it wasn't a tin can. It was really like advancedly put together. I mean, because you have, um, you know, you have you know the stuff that you have to pump the air out or pump the air in you have, you, to make it to make it go up and down. I mean, this is this is a lot of like. I don't know exactly the technology behind it, but I know there's a lot of like physics going into it, right? Um, you know, having the conning tower, all this like weaponry and torpedoes, torpedoes itself, like you have to make sure that works properly, right? When you shoot those out. Um, yeah, just very dangerous, but again, very technologically advanced um, at the time, in my mind, kind of uh, vehicles. So I'm, um, yeah, definitely uh, happy to get this. So, jawohl, jawohl. So, blasen, blasen. Alle Maschinen should stop. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to say some German stuff, but I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, yeah, definitely make post of uh, big soldiers. I'll say I need this. Uh, Schumtiger commander. Okay, nice. Impress impressed with them. I haven't seen it. Yeah, like, for example, this is brick soldiers minifig, and... It's 14, 14 euros, I think I paid for this guy. And I think it's pretty good quality. Look, I have zero complaints about the prints. To me, it looks good. You know, the legs are printed, torso is printed nicely. So I'm not complaining there. I think this guy is also Brick Soldiers. So I'm pretty happy with the prints. And the prices. Radioactive rodents are crossing the red line. <laughs> um, Nice. Yeah. 30. Yeah, I mean, I talk about the United States. Yeah. So it's 30. It's thankfully it's 12. I think for the kids, it's 12.95 for me in Europe. And it's 4.95 for the minifix from Brickism. So actually, uh, quite good. Brick Pot is in the house waiting for the Butt Shop next video drop. Hope he's doing okay. Yeah. I haven't seen uh, any videos from Butt Shops. I know, like, he actually came to the stream. A couple months ago, like it wasn't anything recent. He came a couple months ago. I mean, it seemed like he was doing okay. Uh, I know he was. I thought he. I know he got a job, so that's that's good. <laughs> uh, and I really, yeah, I really hoped and uh, Butch Up is doing good. I hope he he makes some live streams one day. I, I really miss those uh, those live streams he used to do. So yeah, with you and um, yeah, and the, and the rest of the rest of the gang. So let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward for the big uh, Butch Up's videos as well. But thanks for coming by, Brick Pasta. Appreciate that. Come by and say hi. Binks, I made it. Hello, hello, Binks. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate that. Plus, my AC-130 provides great backup. Oh, man, you're going to pull that. You're going to pull that AC-130 thing. You're going to pull those big guns out. I'm going to get those big guns out. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice kit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little jealous. This AC-130. 
I mean, the one way I'm jealous, one way I'm not, because if I, if I had AC-130, I would not know what to do with it. It's just, just such a big kit. I mean, it's awesome. It's, it's amazing. But I just would not know what to do with this, just how big it is. Like, I'm already, like, that's the thing about Brickmania and just Lego. I mean, I guess it goes to Lego in general. Like, I love the stuff. I love building the stuff. I enjoy it. But I hate the fact that I'm, I'm like, cluttered. <laughs> I'm cluttered with this thing, you know. Yeah, like, it's... Like it's awesome to build it and also have a nice collection to look at but at the same time like this collection takes space like it takes space and that means you know that's a space i cannot use for something else that's a space i have to clean and maintain um so yeah it's like i love it and i hate it at the same time sometimes i'm like maybe i should just like get rid of everything <laughs> yeah like i don't like all these boxes i'm sitting on all those bricks and tops of minifigs is like i don't know sometimes i, re I reconsider my 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 hobby my hobby decisions <laughs> i really do uh, i'm excited to see what modifications you will add to this you built again sorry for the pictures can't believe the museum was closed definitely yeah that's another topic so that's one thing i'm, I'm probably gonna save for the video i'm gonna talk about but i, I am gonna mention here like for the price that I pay for this thing, you get this much. Like, seriously, why don't you? I mean, we're talking about you know six hundred fifty dollars here, right? For that price, you can get a couple more bricks and just add that front flag. Just add the front uh, front flag gun. It's gonna look so much better. Yeah, I mean, I got conning towers, cool. That's where the, all the controls are. This is the main kind of place for the uh, U-boat. But come on, just put that much more brick and just add a flag. Right, that's all you got, and that would be fair. That price would be actually a little more fair than what it is now. And this is one thing I feel like this is definitely should have. It's missing. It's a couple of things I think this this kit is missing as well. Uh, a few details I might mention in the video when I'll do the review. But yeah, for sure. Like I, I might not do it right away, but I would love to do uh, a flak, uh, like anti anti ship gun, like like the one right here. So you have the conning tower and you have that little flag thing. Like how difficult is that to add? Like it's not. Like I think like that should have been already in there. But again, what I know. Uh, do you play much video games for a lot? I haven't been playing lately. I've just been busy with work. Uh, but I do have PlayStation. So yeah. So whenever I have time, I do play. But I haven't been playing lately. Uh, and the time I have, I play... I play the stuff probably you guys don't play. I, I, for some reason, I want to play Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank, so I, I try to pass that game. Uh, I know it's it's more like a kind of kids tailored game, but I like this. I, it's really easy go and it's really chill, so I enjoy this uh, like Ratchet and Clank gameplay. And I play uh, uh, War Thunder when I'm not too frustrated with the gameplay <laughs> multiplayer. I play War Thunder, so that that's this is the, the two games I pretty much. When I have time, I play. I haven't really had too much free time this week, so yeah. But that's about it for the video games. Uh, those two at the moment. I can't believe it's taking so long to build this. <laughs> just the just the base. Oh my god, just the just the this place. Damn, I'm struggling with. Uh, for you, five hundred five. Yeah, the five hundred five. They're all similar class, I think. I don't know exactly the difference between the 505 and 96, uh, but they do kind of look all similar uh, from that kind of time time frame of uh, World War II. And I think they are, is it the diesel electric engine? And I think later down the line, uh, Germany started creating just the just the electric subs that used to be super quiet, that were um, hard to detect by the uh, sonars. Mm, but I think they just like by the time they start making like this new cool stuff, it's it's already like it was too late in, in into the war. Yeah, but U five hundred five, I think it's called something similar to this ninety six. Because I think that Das Boot showed above all the soldiers on the other side, or above all people. Exactly, exactly. It's definitely uh, not a great, uh, not a great time that they we're having on those boats. But they, you know, it's just the reality of the time. I mean, I would be like, I mean, just the fact that you are under the water, <laughs> I'd be claustrophobic and, you know, and then there's still, 
Um, like the ships above you trying to hunt you down. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's scary, crazy. Uh, and 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 it's depicted in the movie. Like if whoever haven't watched the Das Boot movie, you should definitely um, give it a, give it a, give it a try. Give it a look. Because there you can see, like, pretty much any excursion, any kind of thing that they were trying to do. It's like you in between, like, being super bored, cramped up in this little space. Uh, or, like, extreme fear and excitement, right? Then you gain kind of uh, bombed or you're trying to bump somebody or you're trying to hunt someone down. So it's really, like, weird kind of vibes that you went, went, went in this kind of... Uh, submarine environment and then, and then i think the movie de de depicts that very nicely so if you haven't watched the dust boat definitely check it out you kind of feel uh maybe a little bit how the, the those guys felt <laughs> uh butt chops and have the same problem we both have to move yeah yeah moving is not fun i hear you especially if you have big lego collections like butt shop does and as you do hooky the concept of AC-130 is probably my favorite or more airplane concept of all time, even better than A-10. Yeah, I like AC-130. I, 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 once I saw that in Norwegian Museum, I saw uh, not AC, not the attack one. I saw the C-130. Uh, C but even that, that was pretty awesome. Um, I really like that one. Really like that plane. All right, let's... My goal is to build a stand during this live stream. That's my that's my realistic goal. So I'll probably do another hour of this. Uh, I never bothered mentioning this before, but technically I have owned two Brickmania AC-130s at the same time, but both my, my time collecting. Okay. Well, I didn't know, like, is it like the same AC-130? Because I know they made also some kind of C-130 back a long time ago. Brickmania made... Uh, like Arctic or some, I don't know, some like smaller scale AC-130, but that that's from like way back. What's your channel name? I came back because I have few, I have few. Five minutes. Okay. Thanks, Wolf. Coming back. <laughs> I pushed my first one full price, but no space for it. Ah, okay. I sold it. And then I regret selling it. and became Virginia store. had one left, so I bought it again. Ah, okay. So you're talking about this big one. So you bought it and sold it. Okay. It happens. It's like our boy Coco. I mean, he left right now, but uh, he was complaining to me before that he bought Valentine tank, that he didn't want the Valentine tank. He told Frank that uh, our boy, uh, Brachismo Frank, that he doesn't want it to return. He returned it, and then apparently he did want it. So he went to some Japanese reseller site, and then he bought it from there. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Well, at least he's, he's happy now, I think. Of course, I'm searching on YouTube. It doesn't show. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, yeah, well, maybe Spook can help you out to find him. Yeah, that gun you should add. I'm sure there's some inspiration out there, but yeah, I don't know. Became the that. Yeah, I feel like it's a little lame. They should have added it. The deck flag gun. I actually have my AC-130 built as my channel banner picture, so you can see it there. Okay. Yeah, Spooky had a lot. Uh, had a look at the channel banner. Cannot hardly replace a prop. Yeah. Spooky, call me once your videos up. Call me once your videos up and running. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I try really should uh, look at uh, putting proper video together. Mm, okay, yeah, that's exactly my problem, right? Space. That's exactly my problem. So, but let me ask you, Spooky, are you planning to actually uh, keep, are you planning to actually keep this AC-130 or are you kind of just keeping it for now and then at some point you, you, may, you, may, you may sell it? I mean, if you plan to keep it, you might as well build it, you know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> no pressure. No pressure. But if you, you know, if you're not sure yet. But I mean, if you sell it, I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's pretty valuable. It's pretty valuable kit right now because it's. I'm, I'm almost certain it's retired and, not, and it's not coming back. And also considering that you got it on sale, that's a plus as well. Let's see. So Hookie, you still um are you moving? Still in the in the works, you move, is it happening? Um is the move happening soon, soonish? Yeah, because I, I don't know, I cannot imagine me having to move right now with all this Lego. <laughs> well, actually, I'm pretty happy with, uh, I, I was able to sell out, not a lot, but I was able to sell some some Lego Lego, because I think uh, opposite of what Spooky was talking about uh, in a few live streams before, he's collecting Lego and then doesn't have much of the custom military stuff. I'm opposite. Uh, most of my collection is then custom military so and this you know and those are pretty compact because you can put those in the boxes like this mm, so i guess if you if i had to move with my brickmania collection maybe it's not too bad because i feel like lego boxes take a lot more space because i have a few modulars like lego modules i still have still own and some of those boxes uh let me tell you yeah <laughs> some of those boxes are definitely not you know, definitely take a lot of space and not easy to move. Or I guess if you have like uh, parts, parts bins, then it's also okay. Because you can just uh, move the parts that way. But if it's boxes, yeah, those are not fun. So I guess you also don't want to mess them up if it's like a brand new set while you're doing the move. I don't know. Haven't done it, but... I feel like that would be not not something enjoyable. <laughs> okay. All right, where would you put AC-130 hanging from the ceiling? <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was like one of those like uh, was Millennium Falcon Star Wars sets like with those big ones UCS ones when you have like some like giant coffee table just put on top. Um, but yeah, you need to. I mean, the apartments like I'm in. I live in an apartment. That's not gonna fly for me. Like I would never be able to fit anywhere. Uh, with proper fishing wire, they see one thirty could hold the weight. My feeling properly one. <laughs> yeah, if it's like a sturdy build. Uh, if it's built like with some Technic frames, I'm sure you can probably like hang around and you know not not to um, what's the proper word? What's the proper English word? Not to sag in the wings or whatever other places. I always see they have no intention of selling it. I'm just uh, waiting to have the proper space and come in. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't like how people in the states. Like, I, I mention all the time. <laughs> Have a you know you have you have a nice little basement yeah yeah go for it you have a basement 
I mean, this is a, I'm also kind of following some people on YouTube uh, that are into trains. Like a train hobby has nothing to do with uh, with Lego, right? They just collect trains. And yeah, some people have like super nice train layouts in the basements. Um, yeah, once again, lots of space. It takes a lot of space, but it looks super nice. And if you have that space, why not? You know, have a train layout, have a city layout, Lego city, have a bunch of AC 130s. Uh, and F-14s <laughs> on display. And I just, yeah, just a matter of uh, if you have that luxury. Which unfortunately, I, I do not. Maybe if I stop buying this, save enough money, <laughs> I can, I can buy a house. I don't know. I mean, probably not. But the way it's going, I probably could have. Uh, or you know what? Bitcoin, right? Sell all this, put in Bitcoin, and then I can buy a house. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't take my financial advice, please. Uh, I'm currently moving right now, but it will be coming in the future. Okay. So you and Hookie both are in the move. Well, I don't even have a place yet to move. I'm working on it, but it's difficult. I see. Okay, Hookie, good luck then. Good luck. Uh, hopefully you find something good for your, for your Lego collection as well. Good luck, good luck with that. But yeah, I've been really considering, like to be honest, 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 <laughs> honest talk here. Um, I've been really considering, like, just go like as as minimal as I can with my collections. Kind of very difficult to sell off Brickmania because I feel like this is still something I really enjoy. I do like, and I'm at the, almost the point where I everything I own Brickmania wise, I really like, right? So I have all my, you know, if I look at uh, looking back at Swole War Two, I'm really enjoying that. I have all this kind of custom uh, Panzer tanks. I really like Tiger tanks, and uh, it's nothing really I want to sell from there. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's what I might do is just kind of sell off all the other Lego I have left. Even maybe modular. So I was considering selling some of the modules because they take a lot of space and just kind of free up as much space as I can, you know, and money. So I really don't want to be kind of sitting on just a bunch of Lego. Just in case I do need to move or generally just not, not, not to want to have too much of stuff. I know it's coming from the guy who has like who makes holes like every week. Sounds crazy, I know. But my end goal, let's say, <laughs> is to kind of declutter my collection a little bit. I'm not saying like just you know, kind of ending with uh, not buying anymore, kind of getting out of this hobby. No, like I still want to continue. I really, I really enjoy what I'm doing. It's a lot of fun. Um, but definitely get rid of these things that I don't, I don't need or uh, maybe need as much. Cause, I mean, I have like stuff that's just sitting in the boxes somewhere. Like, why do I, why do I have it there? I have no idea. Like the stuff I don't even probably ever going to build. So yeah, I'm just a matter of uh, selling it. And... Cause then like stuff, like I'm going deep now, I'm going deep. <laughs> like having stuff is fun. It's cool. But at the same time, for having too much stuff is stressful. All I gotta say. Because <laughs> I can't find shit <laughs> anymore. It's like, where did I put that minifig? Where did I put this thing? It's like, yeah, well, I can't find shit anymore. Because it's like all on top of each other. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully start working now a little bit. Um, declutter. That being said, I keep still buying stuff, right? <laughs> Look at this piece, Brickmania's favorite piece. All the barrels are made out of this now, huh? All the tank barrels. Okay. That Lego released a new piece and uh, just what Brickmania needed.
right. I'm out right now, but part of life becoming uh, soonish in the future. Yeah, man, I hear you. I had to same him. I had to move a couple of times in my life. <laughs> Once I had to move. I don't know if I mentioned, I think I mentioned it about German breakfast. I used to be on the channel. I, I used to live in the States. I had to move from Texas to New York. That was crazy because I had to move pretty much everything I owned. I put it, I packed it in the car. So I fit everything I had in the car. I did a lot, a lot of stuff too, like unnecessary stuff. But I fit everything I own, you know, except like bed, for example, right? Uh, one mattress. I, I fit everything in the car and moved from, from Texas. I mean, it was kind of, actually, it was kind of fun drive. <laughs> I saw a lot of stuff. Um, on the way from Texas to New York. But yeah, I made that kind of move once. It's actually fun. I enjoy that one. Um, you know, went to Tennessee, Nashville, Virginia. It was good. Uh, Monk has a massive model railway. Oh, building and trees and everything in the garage. Yeah, like that's the thing about the railway uh, stuff. Like I like it. Uh, just I would never have because of a lack of space because um, I have already this hobby happening here. Um, and also it seems like a lot of like older generations used to be in, like I know a lot of people now into Lego, um, but a lot of like older people from I want to I want to call old whatever, but like from seventies <laughs> maybe earlier they are into uh, Lego Lego model model Lego uh, stuff not like I'm saying model train stuff, which is also pretty cool because then it's it's pretty realistic and it, the stuff also moves and it's. Uh, but yeah, a lot of older people are into that. And I'm into that. So does that make me old? Maybe. <laughs> okay, where's this piece? Oh, missing one piece. Now. Story of my life. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. But the thing I like about Lego compared to other hobbies is that with Lego is that you can you can take it apart, store it, you can drop it. I mean, not too super badly, right? I mean, and you can still rebuild things. So that's what I like about Lego, just the how how convenient it is, at least in my opinion. Because it's like so much easier to move. Like I say, even I have to like take some stuff uh, and move somewhere. Hey, I just box them, take them apart, and I can just as easily put them back together as they were. So that's that's one thing I do like about Lego. I appreciate that. It's it's it, it although it is pain uh, as having too much of it. Um, it is fairly convenient and kind of damage free medium. Okay. And with Lego too, it's like you can also like reuse it to do other things, right? Mm. It's from that sense, it's very creative uh, kind of medium as well, right? You can you're not always stuck to. I mean, in my case, I am with those builds. I'm not definitely not taking them apart <laughs> to build something else. Uh, but the fact that you know you are able to do various things with this brick, it's just pretty amazing. Okay. Definitely. Definitely loving this hobby. Mm. There's no other hobby I will want to have on this. Yeah, if it wasn't for Lego, I'd probably just playing video games. So yeah, I mean, if 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 there's other options of wasting time, then it would be the <laughs> video game option. Mm. Let's see what else. Where, where is that thing? Okay, no, I'm good actually. I think I got all of it. Yeah, I'm good. I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, I don't know why I can't uh, spell today. I thought, no, I'm good. I, I, I mean, you're good. I, mean, I, can, I can read. I can read your stuff well. What the quick one with other, other plants? 
Right, gotta go. Yeah, Eli, thanks for coming by, hanging out with me. I appreciate that, hanging out for sure, for sure. And good luck with the martyr. If you if you decide to build, let me know. I'm still thinking about that uh, cold thief martyr, but probably not gonna get it. Joshua Diaz, hey, Willis, neck the Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What I was just talking about. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm not gonna say no because I know every time I say no, I end up buying it. But I want to say no because I have only a bunch of stuff. I've been spending a bunch of money. I've been getting a lot of, um, I've been already getting a lot of kits. So I would, I would like to take a little break from kit buying and you know, kind of give my wall, give my wall a little rest. I am gonna picking up uh, minifix. I am definitely looking forward for some TMC stuff. Like TMC is releasing uh, the M forty three Soviets, so the late war Soviets. I'm, I am gonna pick up some of those guys. So the minifix, yes. When it comes to kits, I would like to take a little break to save a little money, especially considering, you know, I'm getting this expensive stuff here. Well, at least to me, it's expensive. Um, so I would like to say no, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, or should I say, I haven't picked it up just yet, right? If that's the question, I haven't picked it up. It's on Brookizimo. I think it's still available, but I haven't picked it up. Will I pick it up? I don't know. <laughs> Hookie, are you, are you planning? Uh, let me ask Hookie because he's my uh, kind of my partner in crime usually. Hookie, are you planning to pick up um, Cochran Cloud? This is something you... I mean, I only pick up uh, Vespa, which is kind of along the, the lines of this tank destroyer stuff but i mean are you are you getting that just ordered a uh, mine and looks great from the pics yeah i mean it's very accurate to the to the actual source very accurate i mean this this is an actual tank that looks exactly almost the same same thing I, i'll i'll show it to you. I'll, I'll be right back Sorry, I hope it was not annoying. It's this. It's this thing. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. It's this thing. Yeah. So this is an actual tank that existed. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like that too. <laughs> so the Brigade did a really good job with, um, you know, with them. Um, with that build. But will I pick it up? I don't know. Let's see. But I'm glad you did, Joshua. I really glad you did. So I hope you enjoy that build. From uh, from the look of the parts, any tape is probably 30 euro part part out value. But the mini fig prints are awesome. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what pisses me off about this kit. Like we're talking about a dollar per piece here. I mean, and not even special. It's we talk about the gray pieces. That's like <laughs> super common. And like we talk about this kind of stuff. And the prints, yeah, the prints, is, uh, prints are nice. The minifigs are nice, but then there's not even that many of them. So I'm really frustrated with this kit in that way. But that's that the kit is super unique. That's kind of what got me over the board here. And I guess, like I mentioned before, <laughs> to hook you, irrational thinking uh, by picking this up. And I just like the theme. I just like the dust blue. I just like the submarines. I went to uh, a submarine museum. We have one in Estonia that has the World War II. Estonia had the World War II submarine actually that was captured by Russians when you know, that like uh, occupied, you know, occupied or I guess the, the Red Army came to, to Estonia. Uh, I, I like this stuff. I really do. So that's kind of where, where Brickmania got me. But I'm not very happy about the price. Yeah. So I think that's kind of I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bullshit. You know, talking about one. Uh, one dollar per piece lego yeah it's kind of crap but you know it is what it is if you don't like it you don't buy it I, I, you know I, that's the decision i made <laughs> so i gotta live with it what's your favorite world tank uh my world two tank uh my favorite world war ii tank uh, it has to be tiger one that's my favorite world two. tiger one is my favorite world two tank after that i think it's gonna be panzer four and even Lego too. 
I like my, I don't know, Lego actually might be different. I think Brickmania, if you talk about Lego now, Brickmania, my favorite Brickmania tank is Panzer IV, Winter Camo, the Ossip J, um, and then Tiger One. Tiger 131, actually, to be more specific. I like that kit. But in real life, I like Tiger, Tiger One the most. Uh, then the Panzer IV, and then probably Stoop. I like Stoop as well. Tiger One. <laughs> Hookie, one more Hookie. Yeah, exactly. You see, you see, I don't know who you're talking to. Are you talking to Hookie or are you talking to me? But yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. What's yours? Eli Ferdinand. Okay, Ferdinand's cool. Ferdinand is really cool. The elephant, right? That's what it's called. Elephants. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Sherman Panther, Tiger One, Two, uh, Jack, uh, Jack Panther, and Noshorn. Noshorn is a very underrated build. Well, not underrated. Uh, uh, and uh, was it? Yeah, that's tank gun. I like that one a lot. It reminds me the Dick and Max the Brickmania did reminds me of Northern. They should make uh, no, they should do definitely do um uh Northern. Uh yeah, talk about Brickmania. Or Brick Better or whoever. Alright, so let's continue with this build. I'm, my goal is right now the way how slow I'm building, I want to get the stand going at least. Get that stand built today. Uh, display stand. Hopefully that'll happen. Okay. So maybe next uh, part two will be a little longer. In part one, let's see. Next week. Yeah, but definitely more tank destroyers for sure. Those are cool. Uh, M26 Pershing is pretty sweet, yeah. Yeah, Brickmania has one, I think, still available. Oh, Brickismore at least has still one available. The Sparehead one, uh, but expensive. It's like 600 bucks, which I'm, I'm not getting. LI, pretty cool choice is the fact that everyone criticized, even though it was just a reuse of otherwise still on the way chassis. Yeah. I think it still put up a fight. I think, even though, was it? I think it was heavily used in Battle of Kursk, if I'm, if I, if I recall correctly. And I mean, it, it did a pretty good job, although it was heavy and, and having uh, some trouble. Uh, but I think it just it was a lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of times it was issues not with um, with the tank itself, for example, right, with the uh, Ferdinand, but it was the tactics that how they used it. Um, and it was just that uh, I think Russians had a, some ways of like I don't want to get into details, but I think uh, the way they destroyed a lot of them in the in, um, in Soviet Union, uh, I, I think I think just uh, there was just not enough uh, like support, uh, infantry support uh, for those for those bigger tanks. And then uh, once they got surrounded by Russians, for example, uh, they were like. Those expensive, really big tank or equipements were taken out of some really cheap, cheap ways, you know, doing like grenades or some anti tank guns and that kind of stuff. So, really, it was not the tanks full, but more like a tactics on how they were used. I don't know what I'm getting to. <laughs> really, like out of the blue, I start talking about the uh, tank battle tactics. I don't know. Uh, what makes Sherman especially attractive to you? Uh, it's a good thing that I have built it. Spooky, I mean, you got in yourself into some World War II stuff, man. I know I appreciate you here. I appreciate your support. But, yeah, you you here with the World War II gang, man. You know, there's not a lot of modern modern kind of vehicle discussions happening here. Although I do like the modern stuff. I just don't collect a lot of it. So, yeah, Spooky, man, you got yourself into, into a little World War II pickle in here. But, you know, I do appreciate you still being in here hanging out with us even though we don't talk about f14s <laughs> a whole lot here and by the way i think brickmania 
brought back the digital instructions for F14 because I saw the F14 digital instructions and uh, sticker pack and now it's back online, which is nice. So whoever missed out on those like actual kit builds, you can still get the instructions and uh, and build those from Bricklink. Uh, I want to build more of the BKM models on uh, ton of the ebooks, yeah, but the brick, uh, sorting by individual bricks and such. A... Yeah, that's the thing about like why I willing to overpay. It's just the convenience uh, for the most part. It's like a lot of people also ask me like, hey, why don't you just do digital instructions? There's so many builds that they have online. Yes, I, and I do have some digital books and I have some um, uh, digital instructions for, I picked up from them, but just the convenience because then you have to order all those parts and the way like Estonian postal system works. Every time I get the package, I have to actually go physically pick it up to the post office. So say if I'm doing a build and it takes me like three sellers from Bricklink or four sellers from Bricklink I have to order from, I have to go four times just to pick up something. And it comes all different times. It just just your pain. I just rather do one order, overpay, but I have a full package right here with all the stuff I need. Uh, one time to the post office, not wasting my time. But of course, you know if if uh, if it comes to the budget, you know uh, it's a lot cheaper, of course, than uh, kind of you know, do, doing the digital route. So I still recommend that. You know, if you're on the budget, um, definitely lots of cool stuff online, um, digital wise. Digital instruction wise, you can pick up. You don't have to buy um, full like premium kits. Here we go. If business is running crazy on Sunday, I might pick up a Kochen Cloud if it's still available. I still available. I think Brickismo had a bunch of them i think like over more than 10 copies available still but otherwise you cannot afford another bkm tank at the moment yeah yeah that's the thing about me i have to slow down because it's the same thing it's like i just can't be buying like every week there's something cool comes out i mean they're gonna come up with something else like next week right uh i mean it's just not realistic like every week you're gonna be buying stuff and uh, yeah and it's, like i said i love the stuff I love collecting stuff, but when it gets too much, it, it gets overwhelming. And then it goes from like, I'm happy to like, I'm not happy. <laughs> I have too much stuff. I, I'm not too happy about it anymore. So yeah, you, you got to keep that balance somehow. And my thing is like, okay, if I do buy more stuff, which I am like here, I have to get rid of things too. I have to sell things I'm, I mean, I'm not too much into. Uh, but, you know, selling does not... Fa buying is easy, right? You just click the button. <laughs> And you, you, know, you charge a card and you're good to go. But then uh, selling, yeah, that takes a long time. So yeah, I hear you, Pookie. So hopefully, you know, your sales go well, and uh, my sales go well. If I get rid of some stuff, uh, I want to sell, free up some cash, free up some space. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll yeah, I'll get the monitor as well. But the thing about, like, I already have tank this. I have a Dicker Max. I mean, I, I know it's not the same thing, but I mean, I like it. I know, Hookie, you have Vespa, so that's that's kind of also along the lines of Tank Destroyer. So, yeah, maybe it's not something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because every, every time I say something I'm not going to get, I end up getting. So <laughs> I'm going to shut my mouth on that. Um, uh, probably the design of the Sherman in the story. Yeah, I mean Sherman by itself is just such a uh, such a great tank design. It was, I mean, it was reliable. It, it made it was well designed, well made uh, for the crew. I mean, it just just, uh, just overall a great a great World War II tank uh, for sure. And it was just uh, uh, so so much so easily upgraded. Uh, so. Um, uh, so I think, yeah, uh, for sure, from a historical point of view, from a World War II point of view, is definitely, definitely a great tank. Well, uh, the research I've been doing, I think it's, oh, it's going on my, okay. Um, I think it's so cool to get a fic with a really history book that actually signed either author of it. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. 
uh, some Wi-Fi issues. I think it's pretty cool. I like it, but I'm not a big reader. So, <laughs> so I know if I get the book, I'm probably not going to read it. So it's going to sit there. The idea is really cool. Though. The idea is really, really cool. And I think it supports these people too. It supports those veterans or like they're getting, they're getting some money from that. So, you know, it's, it's probably for a good cause. I know I haven't picked up any. The only thing I was really considering at one point is this spearhead book with the Pershing. Uh, but at the time, I just didn't have enough funds uh, to, to do this, to buy it. Man, what the, what the hell is this person at? I can't find him. I can't find anything. I can get this. I'm missing here and this here. Let's go ahead and really get this ball, ball moving. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck here forever. Um, it's a good idea, though. I think you support veterans. Again, something that is historically cool. Like, it's signed, signed books. And I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting reads as well. But I do have to say they are expensive, right? So, I mean, like if you get in the minifig and the bulk, it's like $100, $100, 100 euros or whatever, it's expensive. So, yeah. It's like you get three minifigs, uh, and three books, so you get the you get our uh, coal thief, <laughs> you get the coal thief martyr. So I mean, that's that's kind of the breakdown. What do you value more? Current one to voice the Pacific Book of Adam makers includes the same files and fix considering a massive aviation buff. Okay, I have like no O2 pilot fix anymore. Okay, yeah, I th I think it came it, that one also I think came with the with the plane, right? I think there was like a plane also available with that minifig. That's a cool one. Um, yeah, if you're into Pacific stuff, again, not so much here. <laughs> there we go. Found it. Found this great bastard me. Okay, peace. Oh uh, yeah, but if you're into Pacific stuff for sure. Um, and you got the guy who um, um, who was who was involved in this stuff. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Um, Panzer Four appreciation. Yeah, I like I Panzer Four. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite tanks. Uh, Bob, sample on top. I don't know if you mentioned it, but I got the hands on old BKM Tiger 131. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I think Brachismos has one still for sale. That's a cool tank. I like it. I like the new one, personally. But I know it was getting a lot of flag or controversy because it had it was using a lot of the, you know, kind of the 3D printed elements, which I personally have no issues. Uh, so I was kind of going for the newer, newer look, newer build. But the old one is also pretty awesome. And I like that that um, the old one also had um, three uh, had the printed wheels, so that's nice. So that was nice, definitely a nice build for show, for show. I had the old Brickmania tank, but not not the one three one, but um, kind of like the cheaper version. I think Osip E. Um, that was a nice build too, but I ended up selling that one. So I, I sold the great tiger one from my head. I might be buying a new one though. I might get the classic one, but let's see. Not not now though, in the future. I'm still not done with this base. Give me a break. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm, I'm such a slow builder. <laughs> slow builder. I'll probably do another 20 minutes and I'll, you know, and. Actually, no, I think the now the base is kind of done. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think you are able to disconnect the actual sub from the base. Can you? Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Anyways, but yeah. At least the base is done. Now I think we're getting to the actual submarine build. 
into U bolt. Yeah, now it's going to get into U bolt. Now let's try to get into that. Um, yeah. So that on became a website. 90 plus 30 shipping. Oh, yeah, 30 shipping, man. It's rough. But since I have 34 Bitcoin saved, make it worth. Yeah, I mean, the 30 shipping is, is a little rough, at least for me personally. Um, but I mean, you also have to consider, yes, it's coming from, from Europe uh, into the United States. So, you know, it's not going to be cheap. That's for sure. Not the one size. No, that's the right one. That's the one. And that's the one I need. need four of those. Yeah, so that's you know that's not gonna be cheap. It's just the reality, man. Like it's it's kind of sucks, yeah. I I hate actually the worst the, the most what I hate is the tariffs. Because I was looking at this brick brick veteran uh, tiger tiger one winter camel. It looks so good. I think it's still available on the website. Actually, if you go to brick veterans website, you, the, the I, I don't I can't remember the exact name for it, but it's it's a winter tiger. It's all white. <clears throat> like that tiger is cool. It's five hundred bucks, which is okay. Five hundred bucks. Maybe I can you know take that hit, get that tiger. It's fine. <clears throat> but what I hate the most is like I'm in Europe. They're gonna have to give, give me tariffs, so I have to pay for tariffs. And I have to pay for VAT. So that 500 tiger turns into 700 something tiger plus the shipping. So I was like, mm, I can't justify it. Like, were you kidding me? Like, I'm not, I'm not paying now almost, I don't know, like 30, 40 percent on top um, <clears throat> to what the actual cost is. And you know, already like Brick Veteran, they're making their money as well, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, so those those kind of you know, like because of tariffs and all that kind of stuff. The, you know, a lot of stuff I I I don't get myself involved with uh, for, from the overseas, right? So anything from the states, I'm trying to avoid. <clears throat> so yeah, if it wasn't for uh, Brickizimo as a reseller, there's a lot of stuff I would not be buying. <clears throat> and one of them is Brick Veteran. Although like I like it, I would love to get one Brick Veteran. Um, there's no reseller and I'm not paying this crazy shipping in tariffs. It's just not, not happening. Just not, no way. So yeah, that's unfortunate. It is what it is. Uh, if you are, if you live in different places, that's, that's what you gotta do. You gotta pay. It appears that you're uh, near to be, to be <laughs> it appears that you're near to being done. <laughs> Battleship, you got some jokes, bro. You got some jokes. <clears throat> Fairnaf has serious troubles with engine. Yeah, but so did the other German tanks too, like other bigger tanks, like um, uh, Schoen Tigers, whatever what they call Yak Tigers, and uh, those tank destroyers. A lot of them have engine troubles. The bigger ones, especially Tiger Two, had a lot of problems. For me, Tiger One is the most beautiful and brutal design the German manufacturing has been for. Yes, and it's effective too. It was really effective. It was exp expensive to manufacture, but it was such a great tank. I've often found that people who have no connection to the tanks react very negatively uh, to the tiger because of uh, uh, subconscious recognition that the armor mounts are tall. It was a great tank. I think, well, first off, the U boats, uh, Tiger One, it's like the engineering was so uh, forward thinking. Like the tank designs, like if you look at Tiger One or you look at some of those U boats, yeah, of course. Design-wise, a lot of submarines are so much different now. But overall, right, the concept of submarine or the concept of tank has not changed, right? So we don't have those, like, a big battleship of type of tanks because those were crap, right? Uh, they never worked. But something like, for example, Tiger tank, it worked. And the design, and it was, you know, so forward-looking that even right now, tanks look almost exactly like Tiger 1. Of course, it's technically... It's, completely different thing right we're talking about uh, you know now technology and that kind of stuff but overall right the concept of what tank is now it's almost the same so the fact that how forward looking were germans back then i'm not just germans of course you know the americans and you know the soviets and stuff like that and, uh, well, at least you know the, the the world war ii was really pushing the uh kind of the uh, what's the name uh, 
I don't want to say creativity, but pushing the development rate of these technologies is quite quite amazing. And then I think Tiger too, or Tiger itself is just the what the tank, the any tank. I would picture myself, you know, if, if I picture a tank, it would that's what I would think of World War Two tank, ultimate World War Two tank. I don't know. I can't. I can't, I can't talk anymore. It's too late. <laughs> But you get my point, boys. You get my point, right? You get my point. And that's what matters. I got my collection uh, is grossly lacking World War II kids plus mostly focused on Warcraft, of course, but I still like World War II kids. Okay, nice. Nice, Pookie. All right. Uh, we're not some more Warcraft talks in the chat. We're not some more. <laughs> I'm glad it's not too boring for you, Spooky. I appreciate that. A little uh, side note. I work for a man, aka the, the panther manufacturer, but no, we don't make the kitty cats anymore. <laughs> Alright. Thomas, the man. Machine Fabric Augsburg Nürnberg. No way, that's so cool. That's so cool. That's cool, man. That's a cool fact, Thomas. I appreciate that you're sharing this. That's a lot of history right there. If you work for the pl same place where those guys were, where those tanks were manufactured, that's amazing. King Cliff is in the house. Yo, what's going on, King Cliff? I appreciate you coming by and saying hi. Appreciate that. Well, I'm going to go. Thanks, Binks, for hanging out and chilling with me. Again, I'm taking my sweet time. It's been really, yeah, I've been taking, yeah, it's been going really slow. But thanks for coming by. I'm definitely going to be doing next week another live, live build because I want to get this one going. Uh, get this built uh, going. But um, yeah, thanks. Thomas, that's really fun. Most of the family worked in men in the 20th century. That's really cool. That's a, some cool facts you guys are talking about here. Uh, Grand Dylan, uh, how are you guys doing? Does this kid have any printing? Yes, it does. It does have printing. Kind of like big cell. Uh, that I went for was the prints. Was the minifix? The minifix are pretty cool. And then, of course, the prints. We got the swordfish. That's like a cross cross element. I don't know how it's called. Cross element printing. So we got both sides. We have some. This, this is a hatches and um, compass. And then, like, life rescuing stuff. Yeah. So it definitely has some prints. Does not justify the price, but as prints. <laughs> okay, where in the world are you from? How's everyone? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Late night uh, live stream, at least late night here in Estonia, in Eastern Europe. But I'll be wrapping up probably like in 10, 15 minutes because I'm not getting anywhere with this build. <laughs> uh, Thomas, I'm in exile now, but I came from South Bavaria a long time ago. Cool. From Bavaria, okay, that's so cool. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, the world you about to start right now in your live stream. <laughs> uh, car fans, man, you're funny. And then, yeah, thanks for coming by. It's, saying hi to you here. Uh, real, yes, my people identify as Flagewater. Can we expect Israel to drop a thousand pounds on Iran now? Let's hope it doesn't get to that. I don't want to, I don't want to think about whatever shit is happening there in the Middle East. Definitely not. Does not. It's not part of my 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 Lego hobby plans. <laughs> Does not fall into my Lego agenda. Um, yeah, there's lots of crazy stuff happening right now in the world. This here. Okay, so let's just try to do a couple more building steps here going. So I'm not like a completely Complete failure <laughs> with this part one build. Um, get some 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 action here on this table. But I guess I have an excuse, right? I'm having a really good time reading your comments in the chat. You guys are really having have a nice conversation. So, uh, of course, all the World War II history, although also many need to invest more time learning of tank battles in Eastern Theater or War. It's really fascinating. That been yeah, I mean, that's probably one of my favorite parts. It's definitely uh, Eastern Front. Well, because, I mean, I live in Eastern Europe, so that would be, you know, kind of make makes sense <laughs> to me. Um, 
but yeah, Eastern Front is definitely my favorite. Um, um, my favorite topic of World War II for sure. And of course, my collection point as well, right? Because I, I do collect Soviets. I do collect American stuff as well. I do like uh, I do like American equipment as well, but mostly German and Soviets. And I wish Brickmania made a, a few more Soviet kits. Um, but again, I don't want to complain too much because there are digital instructions available. So if I really wanted to, I can I probably can still uh, still build some. But yeah, I mean, just uh, well, I mean, and, and yeah, Eastern Front is like we have like I'm sure Hookie has family that that's related to World War II fighting, and then uh, I have family that were involved in World War II. So to me, that's mostly where the interest lays, and just historically how how uh, how great of a kind of event it was, right? How how massive of an event, how eventful it was. Like it, it was truly, uh, you know, that you know it was truly concerning everyone at the time, at least you know the places that I'm, I I live, um, and all the people involved. It was yeah, just you know, just the magnitude of it. So for me, that's that's very interesting, and that's why I, I'm into this. And of course, the Lego part is also fun. I'm not, I'm not taking away anything from like modern stuff. Modern stuff is cool too. Like I do enjoy modern stuff as well, here and there, just to kind of change it up a little bit. But of course, historically wise, you know, I am more interested in in, in the World War Two. Where's that? I thought I had this piece already sorted out. Oh, here we go. You know, and people have different interests too. Like you have people are interested into like who collect Brickmania, for example, like Vietnam stuff, right? Or like the like World War One stuff and each has their own interest, which is totally cool. Uh, you can like whatever you like. And even World War II, like you said, you have Pacific, you have Eastern, you have, you know, invasion. Like a lot of Americans really love uh, D-Day, Normandy, that kind of stuff, because then a lot of Americans were involved in that. So that makes sense too. So to each song, you know. Uh, Spooky, if you, if you study World War II, Probably you'll find that the Russians they're trying to fight exact war. Yeah, probably will work though. No, it's not the same. <laughs> I think it's not the same. Russians don't have the same capabilities or capacity. It's not the same level. Like in Russian World War II, I mean, it was the event was so massive that Russians ended up mob mobilizing basically every single like man, every single hey, man. Like I mean, there was millions of people that they mobilized the army. You know, the Russian army from like went from 3 million to like 8 million a couple of years or even more. Uh, it, it was giant. Everyone was working uh, for for the front, right? I would say for the World War II. Right now, Rush, well, first of all, Russian economy is not the same level as it used to be uh, because they don't have that, the, the production capabilities or whatnot. Second of all, it's not the war economy. Third of all, they don't have this manpower as they used to. Um, there's just a lot of factors. It's just not at the same level uh, as it used to be during World War II. And even if they wanted to, even if it comes down to it's the Russians are not, uh, they don't have that capacity as, as back in the day. I'll say, you know, if we talk about the powerhouses, it's the United States, China, those are the big ones, the Russians now. I don't think so. That is my personal opinion. It's never going to get back to those uh, Iron Curtain days. All tax modern technology and lots of bloodshed. Yeah, and they're all technology because they just they got no money. I mean, they, they're doing what they can with what they got. Um, kind of like me right now on this table, <laughs> on this small table. Uh, but it doesn't mean, um, yeah, and then they do, they losing a lot of stuff uh, with that. They cut, they cut a lot of corners, uh, I guess, in the way as they did back in World War II as well. But yeah, uh, from the fact that, you know, they, they don't have the capabilities and then they just kind of, Covering the holes, uh, what, what what they got. 
the best that they got. And the best what they got is really not the best out there. <laughs> so um, if you don't learn from history, you're bound to repeat it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, people have, they do have a lot of ambitions, right? But then the reality dictates something else. And it's evident for this two year stalemate kind of fighting that's happening in Ukraine. But anyways, uh, that's pretty simple. Number. People seem to <laughs> never learn. Rule, do you play War Thunder? Yes, I do. Yeah, baby, I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I got this one correctly. So we got four of those. Oh no, oh no. Yes, that's probably the only thing I play right now on PlayStation is War Thunder and some other kids stuff. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. I do play with other thing. Oh, it's fun. It's like I can't get enough of the of the tanks in Lego format. Might as well just give myself more. Uh, spend more time with tanks in uh, in video games. <laughs> yeah, those uh, Chinese. Chinese War Thunder game. Yeah, I do play. So they can get all my information. So they can spy on me secretly. Because I'm so important. <laughs> Collect my information. The Chinese. Um. The non Koreans is <laughs> because they don't use a, a, a Skillshare. Well, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> the Skillshare. I don't know if I was the fir first to do it. <clears throat> yeah, the Renault tank. Yeah, not sure. It's a cool little attractor. <laughs> uh, Spooky, maybe uh, give Putin a membership. <laughs> that was time to give the rat instead. <clears throat> Nuclear rat, or was it? Chemical rat. Which rats you were talking about before? I have ever told you guys uh, a little secret, uh, excellent tiki cocktail. <laughs> no, you have to balance the alcohol with the sugar from the food and and the acidity from the citrus. So uh, three categories of ingredients, no more, no less. <laughs> tiki giving us some uh, bartender tips right here. Thanks, appreciate it. Uh, okay. I think it's almost that time. I'm gonna wrap wrap this uh, wrap this step up and maybe call it a day. Oh, where's this thing? Where's that thingy? Come on, last piece. Let's go. Let's go ahead, bro. Here we go. Let's make that connection here. Connection here. 
Let's connect those pieces right here really quick. I'll, I'll just do one more step, I think. Do one more step, and I think that'll be it. Yeah, just one more step. Um, here we go. Get this connected here. happening how does this make sense Okay, I think I got it now. Interesting build technique. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. All right, let's catch up with chat really quick. Um, uh, you should watch this booth while building the tower. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good idea. Well, if I watch it, I can't, I can't check out the chat because I'll be watching probably on my laptop. And you guys are more important. Uh, spooky arrival would be nice, but uh, pretty gosh and God <laughs> will prepare for the quarantine. Maybe go to Silkshare instead. You guys are funny. Uh, my great grand uh, granddad shot pansas with a big gun. Not sure what gun that is. Yeah, I mean there was a lot of people on different kind of sides uh, doing different kind of crazy stuff just to survive. It happened, you know. And then you had like a duty to your country type of thing. So a lot of times, maybe something you didn't want to really do, but just something you had to do. It was really interesting. It's really weird times. Very sad times too. Um, For many, lots of innocent people, kind of, yeah. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. That's what we have to, you know, build those Lego kits so we can remember and not to repeat the history. <laughs> Another excuse to keep buying Brickmania, right? <laughs> trying to find just more excuses. Uh, trying to find more excuses to get that martyr too. All right, so we're getting laying foundations for that uh, base section, which is good. I think I'm, I'm starting on the submarine itself, which I'm really happy about. I'm not happy how, how long it will take me to build it, to get here. Um, but at least I'm happy that we are actually finally started with the sub itself. Very good. So hopefully the next part uh, for part of this build things will go a little faster uh, that's kind of my, my hopes <laughs> but again know myself i'm not gonna make any promises i'm gonna just finish up this step i'm gonna read a little more chat and then i think we're gonna call it a day call it night All right, so this is how far we got, which is pretty pathetic. <laughs> oh boy, I tried. We well, got the base done, so that's a good thing. I think uh, my other comment got deleted for some reason. I love the World War II Pacific theory of history, air battles along with other island hopping in the tropical environment. Fascinating. Yeah, man, Japanese are kind of crazy, man. I know uh, like uh, Germans were committed to this stuff, but I heard the Japanese were like really committed, so... 
And I, wasn't that the one of the reasons why the United States had to drop a atomic bomb? It's just because they wouldn't just give up. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. N- not really happy, funny topics, but still, since we all it. Yeah, so yeah, Pacific was very fascinating too. Just something again, I'm, I don't have too much interest because I, I'm not very familiar with Japanese culture um, and what was happening there at the time and those islands and Philippines and this Manchuria. I know like Russians were also involved in this, in this Eastern campaigns and towards the end, actually, Russians were very close and actually invading Japan itself, like Japan uh, mainland. I know if it was supposedly, I guess one of those conspiracy theories or whatever, the- is that uh, the United States rushed the bomb, rushed the atomic bomb, is to not to have, of course, the big reason was to save lives, yeah, uh, the, the soldier lives, by, like, killing out civilians, but okay. <laughs> killing, like, thousands of civilians, but um, the reason reasoning was that, yeah, to save lives is that they're going to do this one big hit, but the other th- reasoning was that they didn't want to have Stalin or the Red Army to reach Japan and take take Japan over. So I can I guess that was one of the reasons as well. I, I mean I, again that's just more conspiracy stuff. Uh, in I am M ten. Oh, cool. JDP builds showed up. Nice man. Thanks for coming by and saying hi. This is the way. From the photo, looks like it will look cool. Yeah, hoping again taking my sweet time, uh, getting there. Uh, but let's hope so. By the time it's all done and dust is settled, I'm going to have a nice display of uh, U96 conning tower. Uh, I focus most of the war to history and the research and Pacific stuff. That's why I don't know much about the Eastern Front side of warfare other than D-Day. I don't know about this. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. Exactly. Like, to to each its own. Everyone has their own interests. Like, for me, just I just doesn't mean I know a lot about it. I don't know actually anything. <laughs> if you compare compare me to a historian, or anyone knows that type, but just it's more of an interest to me or a fascination of the Eastern Front because that's where I'm at. I'm in Eastern Europe. Um, but yeah, and I I haven't read much on that either, which probably should. But there's a lot of podcasts out there on uh, uh, Operation Barbarossa, Eastern Front, that kind of stuff, all the kind of the big battles. So you can, you don't have to probably read on it. You probably could just even listen to some of the podcasts, and there's a lot of cool information there. Rula, I heard you, uh, hear you, but the Russian is not the UDSSR, but they still try human wave attacks. <laughs> I hear, yeah, yeah. But I, like I'm saying, they, they do, they work with what they got. Um, and it, it, the fact of the matter is just the, I, I don't know what, what's he like, what's the deal with, uh, with the Russians, and I don't want to get too much into politics. But they just don't have the capacity and money or any of that stuff, um, you know. That's what they're stuck stuck in the day. Stuck. And then I feel like just ambitious. Uh, they're like they're the leader, the, the little Putin guy, uh, just has a lot of ambitious, uh, which don't match the reality. Um, but doesn't make doesn't change the fact that yeah, it is it is it's a pretty dangerous situation, nonetheless, because you know, we're still talking about some nuclear powers and there's one guy who's running the show. But yeah, let's not think about that. <laughs> Soviet meat waves just like the old days. Russia never changed. Yeah. Uh people learned that changing machine guns was a bad idea. Now Russia wants to change what well, modern machine guns, bombs, drones, attack, uh heavies and everything else. Yeah, but I mean, if you look at the grand scale, if you talk, like, if we compare, like, Russia to NATO forces, like, Russia has no chance. The only thing they have is, is basically just the nuclear bombs that they can threat with, threaten with. Uh, but other than that, it's like, you know, on, on the bigger scale, if you compare, you know, United States military or whatever else, or other ones in the world, like, um, it's just not there. It's just not there. Like... Yeah, can can World War Three happen? Yeah, um, but is it you know? Is Russia capable to do or has the capacity to do what maybe it could have done in World War Two? No, the answer is no to that. Rula, I think thinking about buying the Tiger Two. Thinking about buying Tiger Two S I A sixteen. Tiger 2, like what Tiger 2? I'm not sure. We talk- oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I'm talking about the War Thunder stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll talk about, I, I'm getting like War Thunder and Brickmania and Brickismo, all that, all the stuff confused now. <laughs> it's all like one big mush in my head. 
Yeah, cool. Uh, specific theory World War II sometimes handled uh, as a sideshow, and that's, uh, of course, totally wrong. So much to learn from what was going on there during World War II. Yes, I agree, Hookie. Japs were a very real threat, just as much as Germans. Just ask Jap- Chinese. Well, yeah, though, I mean, Japanese were at war with Chinese for like 10 years before even World War, World War, One, World War II started. Like, there was a lot of stuff happening there already. America never felt that being this far from Germany and Japan, but the bordering countries were real threat. Yeah, of course. Like, Japan was fighting with Ch- Chinese for like five or six, or maybe more years before World War, World War II even started. Rula, how's the battle now? Oh, man. Okay, man, you gotta bring you gotta bring that up just like that. Mm-hmm. Well, it's actually I got my parts. The problem is most of my parts are at my parents' house, and I'm here, so that's the problem. Yeah. So it's not going too well, but I, I haven't forgotten yet. I am gonna work on it at some point. So yeah. So yeah. So, so all the machine in the stop. So yavol, yavol, okay. I'll hop on that. Uh, yeah, I'll get to that uh, mock at some point. Yeah, great. Uh, granted, my grandson, on the other hand, worked in the factory instructing women how to build Spitfires. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, like I said, back in the World War II, man, everyone was involved in that. Like you have every family member, anyone you ask is probably their family members was either at the front or somehow uh, part of the part of the war uh, kind of machine thing. Uh, do you watch Mark Felton? I, if you're asking me, uh, I don't know. I don't watch Mark Felton, but I should, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Is it on YouTube? I'll check him out. Oh, Mike. Okay, I think I know you're talking about. I think I know you're talking about. I do watch him. Let me just Google uh, Mark Felton. I think I watch him, yeah. I watch Mark Felton, yeah, I do. Once in a while, exactly what Hookie is saying. Uh, he's entertaining because he has like little snippets on different kind of random topics here and there, and I do watch him. So sometimes it's interesting to hear, um, especially like mostly focusing on Germans during World War II. So that some stuff is pretty entertaining if what he's saying is correct, which I think it is. So I do watch him. I agree. I've been watching some of the Mark content. He has some really good stuff. Yeah, just someone just said a small percentage of what actually cost about. Yeah. Big Nate Bricks, hey, how's it going? Thanks for coming by and say hi. I'm about to wrap up this stream. It's like two hours of me just building like a couple things here. <laughs> Most of the time, just chatting with you guys, uh, which is which is um, you know it's cool too. I really enjoy that. So Big Nate, thanks for coming by. I'm not expert on working economy, but I'm pretty sure Russia actually can go into a full economy when going back. We're not going back up, but they can get out of work economy without going back up. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's a little tricky for them. Um, but even like the, even with that, the technology is not there. They don't. They not. They cannot compete on the tech level. I mean, you can you can produce all these tanks, but like if those tanks can be easily destroyed, like what's the point? It's not even just about uh, economy. It's all about like the, the tech and abilities, and of course money. And I mean, it's just many factors in there. And I just I don't think it it's it's even possible for them. But that's just how I feel. Very much concerned that this war could go for a very long time without the one bit connected to Ukraine. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a loaded topic. I really wish all that stuff will stop and we get back to normal. But like I said, there's some one there's one person has a lot of ambitions out there, and until that poor person is gone, I think things are not gonna not gonna get fixed. So let's we'll see. Let's we'll see what happens. Kind of sucks for me because I'm like right next door to those guys. So I, 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 I everyone, I probably had to be the most concerned here <laughs> with my, especially with my Lego collection. I gotta make sure it's portable enough. If I have to put it in the boxes and go, uh, I have to make sure I am able to, I am able to do that. I, I'm just hoping it's not gonna get to that. up animation. Hey, how's it going, man? Building your kit, building your U boat, man. Uh, very very bad at it taking my really s- sweet time so super slow haven't got too far got the base done and started with the like the bottom section of it but yeah no no progress not a whole lot of progress but thank you for coming by and uh, saying hi and so far so far i'm just looking forward to to the end product so hopefully it's going to come out as what i see on the box really excited about this one 
definitely gonna make a good display. I'm gonna say I put a little dent in my in my wallet ASAP, just so you know. But hope it's worth it. <laughs> hope it's worth it. Uh, okay, I caught up with all the chat. Even Andreas was able to show up and say say hi to me. So that's good. Again, I do apologize for taking my sweet, sweet long time. But you kind of already know me, guys. I like to hang out with you, read the chat, uh, talk about random stuff. So, uh, yeah. So I do apologize about that. But, yeah. Got so far done. Definitely going to be part two now, obviously, next week. So probably going to try to schedule for next Saturday. If you can make it, I appreciate that. Um, once again, if you have high expectations, <laughs> that you don't know me too well. <laughs> Uh, for this live stream but once you know once it's all done and doesn't like i said dust is settled i will make a separate review hopefully on this guy and give you uh, a little more up close uh so if you if you can't do the live streams that's totally fine i totally understand uh, I, I will make a video on this in, in a couple of weeks for sure so yeah maybe a quick last look at the fix so very cool Good stuff for sure. That's for comparison. That's the TMC guy right here with a tiny veteran. And also, I was thinking of making a separate live stream. Maybe whoever's still here can let me know in the comments before I end this. I was thinking to do um, a separate live stream just to go through this book. You guys are interested? If I just kind of, in the middle of the week, I don't think it's going to be like a build. Uh, during the build or anything just in the middle of the week i might just go through like this book and if you're interested i can show you some uh some panzer camouflages i think i think it would be cool because just the illustrations themselves are really awesome um and maybe just go through that let me know in the comments if something you're interested in because i know it's not lego related but it's still like tanks and world war ii the flag here Hope you enjoyed the kit. Just got my hands on the fix and they look fantastic. They do, they do. I was just kind of giving it up close on the fix. They're pretty amazing. And my idea was also thinking, okay, yeah, building this and maybe at some point even doing a little bit of a mock build, uh, some kind of pier or some kind of dock, right? And just have like the fix on the on the conning tower, but maybe also around. So I was also kind of considering doing a little bit of mock build um, around this. Uh, kind of like from the movie, right? If you if you look watch the dust boot, you'll see like it's, it's kind of docked by the pier. So kind of maybe the same setup or something. I don't know. We'll see if I'll, if even if I get to that point. Because you guys uh, glad I caught up a live stream. Yeah, I think uh, Big Nate. I appreciate you coming from the cliffside, <laughs> clicking cliffside. Uh, usually I don't post anything on 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 that channel on Instagram, or at least I don't announce that I do live streams because a lot of times. People that are into like Lego Lego are not so much into custom Lego, <laughs> so I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't do that there. But thanks for you coming by, Big Nate. I appreciate that. Thanks for stream rule. It was fun with you and amazing audience. Always, always, you guys are so much fun. Goodbye, all the school stream. Thanks for really coming by. I appreciate you hanging out. Rangers came by, but yeah, sorry, Ranger. I'm about to wrap it up. It's been over two hours of me not doing anything here. Just talking. <laughs> yeah, I had a great time as always, Rula. Thanks for hosting another great afternoon. See you on the next one. Yeah, I really appreciate everyone coming by and spend the, the evenings, the Saturday nights with me and hanging out and uh, and doing this Lego stuff. I really appreciate it. you guys are really awesome, awesome community for sure. I really love you guys. <laughs> get 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 sense and emotional here, but I do I do appreciate everyone who comes in, even for a couple of minutes. If you just kind of come by and say hi, how are you? I'm really thankful for that. Yes, of course, do a live stream about the book and let's talk about printing our own tiles at some point. Yes, I'll come back to you on that comment. Sorry, Hook, I just didn't have a chance. I did read your comment um, there and it's an awesome idea. It's an awesome idea. And you let me know, Hook, okay, whatever I can help you with in your business adventure. So when you have free time after you move, let me know. I actually have some connections. Uh, with this book, I think I mentioned to you, this book is printed in Estonia, and I actually know some people uh, connected to this book. So if you need something, let me know. Uh, anything, I'll, I'll try and do my best to get that information to you. Now, I'm 
I'm everything brick fan. <laughs> nice big Nate. Appreciate that. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, thanks everyone for coming by. I hope you guys have a good the rest of the evening. I hope you guys have a nice weekend ahead of you. Well, no, Saturday is almost over here in, in EU, but uh, Sunday. Enjoy the rest of the week, and uh, I hope I'll see you soon. I'm definitely going to be back with this build uh, next week, so if you can, please join me. And yeah, take care. Have a good night, everyone. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>